In today's video, I'm going to break down the top three things that you can do to beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel, just want to encourage you to watch the channel all the way through. The goal of today's video is simply to help you get better at the game, and that's kind of the goal of my entire channel. So if you like the video, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I would love to get your feedback. All right, guys, so man-to-man -man coverage, this is a in my opinion, what's going to become more popular. So there's a couple things you can do. The first thing that you can do to beat man-to-man -man defense in Madden 18 is you can use uh, formations to help you beat man-to-man -man coverage. So, for example, a tight formation or a bunch formation is better than a, uh, a doubles because the tight and the bunch, you can have the, the receivers are bunched up together which makes it hard for the defense to uh, bump and run. And I'll show you why real quick. So if I use the bunch, and I can use really any play at all, it doesn't really matter. But what I'll do is I'll place my tight end on a flat, and I'll place my far left receiver on a drag. Okay. And what's going to happen is if they go man-to-man -man coverage against this, and then I'll clear my running back out by putting him on a wheel route. If they go man-to-man -man against this, I'm going to win. Brandon Cooks is going to get wide open. As you see, There's the there it is. And this is what's called using natural picks and rubs to get space from your opponent. And again, you can do that through, um, you can do that through, like right here, I don't even have to motion. So if I use to play PA post, I won't have to motion anybody at all. And you'll see Brandon Cooks is going to get open against man-to-man. -man. He gets that little cut, gets that gets that nice separation because of the bunch formation. And as you can see, he gets open against man-to-man. -man. So that's the first thing is you can use bunch, tight, split close, those kind of formations, and it's going to help you uh, really destroy man-to-man. -man. Okay, so split close is good. Um, gun H, gun bunch is good. The gun bunch wide that you can get in the premium membership is really effective. And if you don't know what the premium membership is, you can check it out in the description. The second thing that you can do is use motion because the key to man-to-man -to -man defense is the press coverage. So uh, the, the key for most most man defenses is press coverage. And so here's how you defeat the press coverage. You can use unbumpable routes or motion to get them unbumpable. So if you motion a receiver and you snap him while he's moving, he becomes unbumpable. So one of the things that I like to do um, is take one of my speedy receivers and put him on an out route. And you can smart route it or you could just leave it as standard. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to motion him out a couple steps and I'm going to snap the ball. And you'll see he's going to get wide open. I don't use any pass lead at all. It's just it's just a bullet pass to the outside. Okay, so if they go man to man and they're pressed up against you, what you can do is you can use this little um, out route here. If they set up, though, it's not going to work. You'll see here the out route will get covered. As you can see right there, it gets covered because he pressed him. But my job is to get the receiver to where he's not able to be pressed, okay, which is a little bit more difficult to do this year because they've improved the press coverage. But basically, again, if you motion him out, snap it while he's moving, he's not going to get pressed, and now you can see there's the power of the out route, okay? And I've, I have thrown this thousands of times. This play, this specific play is actually broken down in the premium membership, which, again, you can get that in the description of this video. But as you can see there, motioning, and you can do it with anything. So if you, you know, you wanted to mix it up and then you wanted to come back through and do a slant pattern, motion down slant routes work, motion down out routes work. So those are two critical tools that you can use to really beat man and, and you're going in opposite directions both, both ways. Um, the last thing that you can do, uh, and I'm going to need to make a quick situational substitution. The last thing that you can do is have a really dominating receiver who can get open one-on-one -on -one. so in the bunch the way the bunch is designed you have a receiver that's going to be in a one-on-one -on -one situation and you also have um you have people that are going to get open again with the cluster so what's going to end up happening uh when i come out in, in two man under here is gronk is isolated to the right side he's one-on-one -on -one. as you can see they have safety help over the top and if they you know what if they show something like this or they showed their blitz, they maybe did one of these, or they rolled it here like this. And if they did this, 
this is when you would say, okay, Gronk is one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm just going to run isolation routes. So a simple slant route could, could in theory, work against man-to-man, -man, as you can see there. Okay, but what you also want to do is you want to have a route. I call it a backbreaker or a, a power route in every play. For me, at Z spot, you can use this post route against man to man. And again, this whole play is broken down in the premium membership. But you can see how you can combine all of these tools. So I could put my motion out, um, uh, my motioned out drag route here. And you'll see Gronk is going to get inside release and beat his man to the inside every time. And it's an aggressive catch, which again, you can occasionally you'll get some catch tackles. Nine times out of ten, this works. I mean, it's, it's about 90% uh, effective here. Just let him cut right over the middle, and there you can see he holds on. Again, you want to have someone that's good uh, in catching traffic. Now, if they're off coverage, something like this, where they're not threatening to press you, then you just run out routes, smart routed out routes. You guys have probably seen me run these um, for years to beat man-to-man. -man. Okay, so it's no different now. You could also run, in, in theory, if they backed off coverage, you could run a simple slant pattern. Uh, right over the middle, right in there. So, and then just possession, catch it. So, again, those are the three things that you can do. So, let me recap it real quickly. We'll put it all together here for you. The first thing is to use natural picks and rubs. So, you want to run, like out of bunch, you can run your inside guy on a flat, your outside guy on a drag, and you'll see the drag uh, gets open when he cuts to the inside. So, you can do that. The uh, next step that you could do is motioning motioned out routes or motion slant routes to basically get your receiver unbumpable. So if I motion Edelman to the outside and he's on an out route, he's going to get a, a, a no press animation. And as you can see, he gets to the outside. The best way to actually do it is to um, put him on a smart routed out route because he's going to get a little bit deeper and he's just going to get a little bit more uh, release because they can't press him really at all if you motion them all the way outside so here's the motion out and there you see he gets open okay and then the last thing that you can do is have a superior receiver so so, so if you have a, a guy that's just a monster like a randy moss or rob gronkowski or whatever you can run him on post routes slant routes really any kind of isolation type of route and he is going to win nine times out of ten OK, nine times out of 10, he's going to win. Um, sometimes in practice mode, he doesn't get the same release. But I'm telling you guys from from labbing this play Z spot, it's in the premium membership. It it he gets open in, in the game. And you can again, you can then do it off of other things, too, like PA post where he's running the uh, out pattern. And there I, that was a bad pass lead. I should have thrown it over his head. But you can see when you have, a, a, a again, a superior receiver, someone with good catch and traffic route running all, the whole nine yards, then you could even – I could run him on an out route right now, and he's going to he's gonna win, as you can see there. He's just going to get that aggressive catch. Another thing you can do um, – and, again, it's just isolation routes. You'd run him on a slant. So if I run him on an inside slant, you see eventually he's going to break away. Okay, eventually he's going to get open. Um, another tool you could use is verticals, and you could put him on a comeback route. I find these comeback routes actually are pretty good, but basically right down in there, and then you possession catch it. I don't know how that guy got to that ball. But those are the three main things that you want to do this year to beat man-to-man. -man. I really think the natural picks and rubs is probably your best bet, though, um, for consistent success. So I would check that out. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions about any of the things we discussed today, then just leave those in the comments. And if you want access to the premium membership, it's going to get you everything. One-on-one -on -one coaching. It's going to get you um, games with me, weekly update videos, all of the offenses I'll break down for the entire season are in-depthly broke down in the premium membership. So check that out.